still maintained education and right. made education a priority in their lives. So one of the things that uh, I found studying innovators, which people have brought up before, as you've noticed, is that a lot of them had far less formal education than you would expect. And they all struggled with, with the structure of formal education in some way. They all resisted it or chafed at it or found ways to sort of dodge it. Uh, Elon Musk, for instance, said, said uh, he just showed up to take the exams. He never went to class. And Sergey Brin says something very similar to that, actually. I think the issue here is that for some people, a given curriculum or pedagogical tools works. It's the, it, it's, it, it effectively educates them. For other people, it doesn't work. People learn different ways. I'm a professor, and I see this all the time. Students are wildly heterogeneous in what they like about a class and how they learn from a class. Some people are more visual. Some people are more auditory. Some people want a lot of structure, and they want you to run the show. Other people don't want you to run the show. They want to let the class have a freewheeling discussion format. Uh, I think these people had incredible genius intellect that made the structure of school feel like shackles. You know, it, it was like a cage that kept them from spreading their wings. And so what they did instead was they invested in self-education. So Einstein, for instance, was well ahead of his peers in math, and yet sometimes wouldn't get great grades at school because they found him disrespectful at school. He studied math on his own and, and studied really complicated physics and math texts even as a young child. Elon Musk did this. Dean Kamen still does this. Dean Kamen technically didn't even graduate from high school. But he reads physics and science texts for fun. See, they wanted to study what they wanted to study on their own terms and at their own pace. And they wanted to go as deep into one subject as they wanted or as broadly across a subject as they wanted. They wanted to think and reflect when they wanted. Dean Kamen writes about this, actually. He says the problem with school is they spew all this stuff at you, like education from a fire hose, but they don't let you pause and think about let the, sink in. Yeah, what, the things you need to sit and think about.